Oh my god, folks. Welcome to Chip Talk. It's episode seven. We're in the end game now. I think I've got three, maybe four bags of chips left from this chip delivery. From the far off magical land of Indiana. Um and we are we we've saved the spiciest episodes for last. <clears throat> We've had a lot of good showings from Utz, some uh, couple of maybe a couple of zaps, um, and, and one from a grocery store that I don't remember the name of it. Kroger had one of the best, uh, the uh, the prime ribbon horseradish, which I can't believe I forgot that one. God, I miss those chips. I miss those chips, boy. All right. But today, we're getting into the spice zone. Today we have giant eagle buffalo chicken dip flavored potato chips. If uh, if you know me, you know that I love chicken wings. Uh, I would I would stop for chicken wings on my way to a chicken eating eating contest. I uh. I just love them. I love it. I love everything about them. I love I love uh, chicken wings with a nice glass of beer. I love the heartburn, the inevitable diarrhea that comes the next day. So it's, uh, it's just how I do my spring cleaning, folks. Flush it all out with a big plate of chicken wings. No, ch- no, chicken wings don't affect me like that. They're just uh, they're they're wonderful. I love them. So I'm I'm excited about this one. Buffalo chicken dip flavored potato chips. Uh, buffalo chicken dip is something that I make every now and then when I'm feeling like I've lost control of my life and I need uh, I need to spend the day uh, eating a spicy uh, chicken flavored paste out of a bowl with um, with usually some bowl shaped tortilla chips. Um, when those days come, it's, uh, it's, it's a hard day in, 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 in this house. Um, it, it's like, uh, when we decide we need to make Buffalo chicken dip, it's like when the soldiers have to simultaneously turn their keys to nuke, um, you know, aliens or Godzilla or whatever. Um, so it's nice to know that there's a Buffalo chicken dip flavored chip for when, you know, things aren't that bad, but I still want that uh, flavor of desperation. You know, the ultimate in, in comfort food in this house. So we're going to tear into it. Buffalo chicken dip flavored chips. Uh, may God have mercy on our souls. First of all, Giant Eagle. Never heard of them. Uh, I don't know if that's some store brand from, you know, Indiana. Oh, that is a spicy meatball, folks. Woo! (laughs) Holy shit. Uh, We stepped in it. That is a strong odor. Oh, that is, I've been attacked. This is, now this is a ridge, ridges style, so they're, uh, they're structurally sound. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of dust on my fingers, but there's going to definitely have to be some hand washing after this ep. Let's do this. Oh, God. Good crunch on these.
It does what it says on the box, folks. Those chips taste just like buffalo chicken dip. Oh, my eyes are kind of watering <laughs> from joy. Yeah, that's wild. Um, I'll, I'll say it right now, top spot. Buffalo chicken dip flavored potato chips are now at the top spot, followed by, I believe, uh, spicy craw taters. And uh, prime rib and horseradish have now taken third place. These are um, exactly, exactly what you want when you're looking for buffalo chicken dip flavoring in a chip. Um, I don't know what else to say about these. The, the flavor is still lingering. I've drank some water. Um, the spice is not, it's not killing not killing me I wouldn't I wouldn't touch my eyes right now that would be a fool's folly um, and you know if you're eating these and, and maybe having some adult beverages my advice to the gentlemen and and to the ladies I guess is wash your hands before you go to the restroom because if you touch your if you touch your toilet parts with uh, with buffalo chicken dip seasoned fingers you are going to be, uh, you're entering a world of pain, I would imagine. I'm not going to test that, um, but uh, a more dedicated YouTuber might, but not this cowboy. Woo, these are good. Let's just grab another one. Yeah. Yeah. There's that that old taste of sitting around in a you know, knowing I'm not gonna shower that day and I'm not going outside, I'm not answering the door or the phone. Uh probably gonna watch something I've seen a thousand times on TV all day, the whole season of something. And just uh yeah, scoop, scoop that buffalo chicken dip out and rain it down upon my uh, various mental illnesses. Yeah, these are good. They taste exactly like buffalo chicken dip. I'm just repeating myself now. So uh, there you have it, folks. This episode of Chip Talk, um, buffalo chicken dip is in the top spot. I think the I think the next couple of bags, I think I have two or three bags left and they're all in the spicy family. Uh, I do have a I have a special bag I'm saving for last. Uh, I got two bags of these, um, the special bag. I ate one as soon as I opened the box and uh, we're gonna see where they we're gonna see where they land once I've had all the other chips, but those they were they were something special. I guess those will that'll be. That'll be episode 10, Big 10, the, the series finale, unless uh, unless somebody wants to send me another box of chips because the chip selection at my grocery store is lame. Um, and I don't I don't really feel like traveling for for chips. So this has been uh, episode seven of Chip Talk with your host, me, some guy from the Internet. Um. And I'll see you next time.